Hey everybody, it's Dr. Volk, and welcome back to Let's Play Sky, Children of the Light. Last time we went to the Hidden Forest and found some more spirits, and this time uh, we're not going to be doing the... We're going to go straight on to the Valley of Triumph. We're not going to be doing any uh, more quests. Ah, yes, I wound, it, wound up in the right place. How beautiful. Okay, so there, I'm not going to show off the message of the day here because you guys clearly don't seem to like that very much and also oh i have a new hairdo and i how do i move over this way ah oh light boy getting a nice little haircut Ooh. and nah, i think i like this one better as i was saying i've noticed that you guys don't really seem to be interested in the word of the day, or message of the day, motivations of the day. Nor do you seem very interested in the quests, as by the things from the last episode. So, oh, we need one constellation this way. So what I'm instead going to do is I'm just going to try to make some progress in this episode. I'm just going to try to head to the end. I'm just gonna try to complete the main story at the very least before I uh, put the put this uh, on the back burner. Oh! Hold on, let me, let me sit by the tree. How do I sit? Express. There we go. That's what I have to do. Let's sit here and admire this tree for What a beautiful tree. You know what else I'm admiring? That mountain. That's where we're headed. This time on Dr. Volk. And who? Oh, oh, look, there's something shiny over there. That was not, that was not at all what I intended, but that is okay. Look at him slide down. Ah, that's beautiful, but it must hurt your feet, though. Here's... Ah, some winged light. There we go. Now we just need seven more to reach the next level. Ooh. Come on, help let me fly. Yeah, I made it. Whoa, this sound is beautiful. It sounds so triumphant. That's why they call it the Valley of Triumph, I suppose. Okay, let's just make our way down here into these sandy caves here. Let's see what, what's going on down here. Is there anything interesting? There should be. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa! Now I know how the last golf ball feels with putt putt. Oh look, he's he, he's skateboarding like Michelangelo, like a Teenage Ninja Turtle. Oh right. So let's go here. Are, this, are these like ice? I wonder what happens if I fall down there. I don't think I want to find out. Uh ah. No, get up there. Come on, come on, light boy. Ah, <laughs> fail. He's just slipping and sliding everywhere. Yeah. Next level. Nicely done. Aw. You confused? You confused as to where to go next? Well, that's okay, light boy. We have the whole world ahead of us. Or at least, uh, just... Whatever has been rendered, anyway. This looks crossable. This looks very crossable. Oh, look, there are people. I think I can cross this threshold. Maybe? Nope, I cannot, but they can. They can, because they've unlocked that constellation, but I have not, so I'm stuck here. 
But I can go this way, right? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let's explore some more of this here. Whoa, it looks like a desert society. It's like Mad Max, but it's not a dystopia. Have I already made it to the temple? Oh my gosh. This temple is beautiful. That's so cool. All right, so we're gonna race down the ridge. All right, now this is pod racing. Is there like a set time? Oh uh, yeah. I wonder, do I actually have to gather all of them, or do I just have to gather one as I, uh, as I continue down the path? This is so cool! So the, so the sliding sands is, a uh, is a key mechanic! That's so awesome. I feel so slow, though. Come on, there we go, let's pick up the pace, light boy. So I don't- um, I wonder if we need to grab every single fragment, or if we just have to gather enough to fill up this thing. That's so awesome! Rub-a-dub-dub, slip-sliding in the tub. You understand that reference, comment below. If you don't, then that's okay. Still comment below, and I will tell you. But the hint is that that was a reference to a game. The game was on the PS2. The PlayStation 2. It could have also been on the GameCube, but I know it was on the PS2. That's your hint. Ooh! Look, wing the light. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. Such a whimsy and wonder. And here's a straightaway. So I've only collected half needed. Gather as many fragments of light as you can before they fade out. It's like a challenge mode. Come on. Here's another one. More winged light. Oh, this is beautiful. Find four more to reach the next level. This is amazing. I'm being rewarded. This is like blinding lights. Now I'm gonna collect just all of them here.
Oh, those are the fragments of light that are following me. Oh, that's so cool. That's so pretty. But I don't think I collected enough. Oh, PlayStation 2 music. Well, not PlayStation 2 music, PlayStation 2 visuals. What was that that I gained? Oh! <gasps> and the gates... Will they open? Yes, they will. I wonder if your reward, like, depends on how many you actually collect. So maybe it wasn't all about racing, maybe it was just about... Uh... Maybe it was mostly about uh, getting them all. And here is the temple. This is amazing. I would not mind if someone built this in Minecraft. Let's light these candles up here. Ah, uh, there's something else. I want to do that, but first I'm going to light everything around here. There we go. I don't know why they always have the light boy off to the side here. There we go, everything's all lit up. Now, let us kneel. And what do we get for kneeling? <gasps> yep, this is the temple. Oh, this reminds me of Spyro. So it's only like 14 minutes. So I wanna, I wanna at least find one spirit and come back to this one. Is that white diamond? Oh, it's they're twins. The twins, Gemini. At least assuming they're constellation. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> they're like, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah. Oh, uh -huh. That's so cool! That's so funny. That's so funny, the little banter. What game is that? It's like a mix between cricket and lacrosse. La cricket. Ah, uh, there's a sleeping. There's a guy sleeping. So, how many constellations? Oh! <gasps> this is. This is that constellation. Okay, so. This is the quote-unquote hockey constellation, so there are seven spirits here, and I'd like to find them. And this leads to the next area, which is closer to that mountain. And I know I should be driving the story forward. Ooh, that is a lovely backdrop. Look how that is so pretty. You look, uh, you look a little evil there, <laughs> light boy. But let's go back this way first. Because I want to find at least one spirit. We have time. Huh. And it'll actually let us leave this other way. Oh, what's that? I want it. Can't get it. I think this is going to take a while. Ah! It won't let me go any further. It won't let me go any further back. So I've got to, uh... I've got no choice but to progress for now. Oh! Well, there's my light back. Thank you. Oh! There's a spear. Up there. Up, up. Okay. This is a very silent oh area. But yeah, let me light this up. That'll give me some 
things back. Ah, fireworks! Ah, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing there, uh, light boy? Don't worry, guys, I'm not gonna show me lighting all of the individual fireworks. That's just gonna be... that's gonna be too long. It's gonna make this video very long and very boring. And I know some of you probably already think this is very boring. Oh, look, here's the uh, presidential box. Oh, whoa! This, this... Okay, I know I keep saying it looks like a TARDIS, but it really does look like an old, tiny TARDIS in here. Let's light this up. Oh, an elevator! Pretty. What do I do here? Ah, that summons the elevator back. Oh, I can sit here. Ah, this is where I can chat with someone. I want to go up there. That looks like a nice place to go. Imagine the giants that sit here, though. Ah, there's a person. Hello, person. Nice to meet you. Ah, and there is someone very shiny, and I want to go see that someone very shiny. What is this? Do I have enough? No, I have absolutely none of them. I have none. Zero. Ah, you're sleeping. Let's go up and see who this guy is. Is he a spirit? Or a winged light? If it is a spirit, I will take it and then end this episode off. Look at how it blends in. Look at how his cape blends in with the carpet here. As of the reflection. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. Oh! <gasps> Who are you? That Dai Shi over here? Look like a Pokemon. Ah, a bow! What are you doing? I'm just gonna very slowly approach you here. He was doing something. But he's just sliding down. All right, there we are. Let's fly down here. Let's see what you're up to now. He's just in like a constant battle pose, so I think he slid down here. And what are you looking at? Oh, I think he's about to. <gasps> ah, he runs up to the pedestal here. Oh, he's running around the arena first. Oh, he's sliding around the arena. He slides, he slid down there, and you know, he's sliding around the arena. Wow, there are a lot. For this guy, and he's just like in the same pose for the most part. And then, he, yeah, come on. He comes to kneel, to bow here, and we will light up your life. Ah, what? Ah! Your head's cut off, sir. Your head's cut off, sir. But I bow to thee. I bow to thee to show respect. And the spirit waits with an offering of gratitude at the Elder's Temple, to which we shall go. We have one spirit here at the Elder's Temple.
Let's relight all these candles, cause why not? Let's just let's just go ahead and do it. Let us bow. Well, let us kneel anyway, not bow. So there are a lot more people in here now. We have one. We have but one. One spirit of the Valley of Triumph. What other adventures await us? Let's find out next time on Dr. Volk.